a lot of people scream. It was a, it was like a bang, like a bow, you know, a loud bang, and then you saw smoke, and you could smell electrical. So that, that's how I knew. I deal with computers and stuff like that, so I could smell the electrical like a fire, and I was like, I knew we hit something. And then you knew you had to get off the train. Yeah, basically, but we couldn't get off. We didn't know what was going on. And you know, over the PA, over the system, you could hear everybody saying, just relax, be calm. And then the conductors ran through. Then I heard, basically, was there a doctor on board or something like that? Yeah. When I heard that, I knew. And I could see the people, because I was stuck on the bridge part, and you could look out the window, and you could see people crying and stuff. And, just a traumatic experience. Now, all night long, we've been getting updates from hospital personnel trying to figure out exactly how many people were brought here. First, it was a dozen, then it was two dozen. The numbers hit as high as 25, 26, 27 injured. They say the injuries range from anything you'd see in a car accident to a serious car accident to somebody even had a head wound, a serious head and neck wound. They said that's almost critical right now. They're, they're monitoring that person right now as we speak, but the ambulances continue to come and go from the ambulance bay doors. Meanwhile, a fortunate thing, they had a shift change going on, so they had a lot of doctors and nurses here ready to help. When you hear two trains collide. Yeah, scary. That was a scary, uh, scary, all, all of a sudden you start to mobilize though, right? Because you need to make sure that you're ready for patients and families. And so we got our team ready. And as people got off the train into ambulances and taken to the hospital, communication broke down. Families looking for one another, people trying to get home. It was a whole lot of chaos and panic amongst family members. It was just devastating, you know, just trying to get home. That's why I'm, I live in Staten Island. My daughter was on the train. I haven't heard from her. You know, my husband isn't home yet. I'm not sure what happened. So, um, you know, we can at least give people peace of mind, the people that are here. Uh, and so, again, you know, it's just a matter of time. And uh, it's important for people to have good communication plans. Bob Wilson, News 8. And stay with News 8 all day today. Of course, this is a developing story, and we'll have continuing coverage of the crash and the aftermath.